Hello everyone and welcome to One Man Stream. In today's episode, we're wrapping up a three-part series that we started a little while back with our football 2024 graphic. Back in episode 102, I showed you an overview and I kind of walked you through all the functionality of the graphic. In episode 104, I showed you how to create that graphic in GT Title Designer. And today in episode 105, we are going to show you how to control this graphic with vMix UTC. And this is what our controller looks like in vMix UTC. And we need to go ahead and bring our graphic in. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go behind the scenes on every one of these buttons. I'm going to show you what widget we use in order to create the button. And then I'm going to show you the functionality that we added to this button. Mostly, it's going to be mapping the graphic to a particular component. But also, we're going to use some commands like uh, set color and set visible. So we have that and so much more for you on today's episode of One Man Stream. So to start off with, we're going to start right up here at the very top. And this is home team. We're going to click on the cog and you can see that this is a text field widget and what we did is we mapped the football 2024 with animation graphic and we're going to use the same input for every one of these buttons and we mapped this particular button to the home team name so you can see right here where it says mail that's the home team name but if we wanted to change it we could change it to Trinity and you can see how that automatically changes as far as the logo goes let's take a look at this and this is a list widget and we use the exact same input but this time what we have it mapped to is home logo. What I did is in Notepad, I created a list of all of the logos that I have that I use for high school football. And I put it in this list here. So when we choose one, it's actually going to change uh, that logo. So let's go ahead and click out of it. And we're going to use the drop down menu. And let's just go right here to this one that says North Oldham, and we're going to click on that. And you can see where it changed to North Oldham's logo. And we'll change it back to mail. The next thing is the home team color. And what we did here is this is a button widget, and we're using the set color function. So when we created this particular element in GT Title Designer, if you remember, we went under data and we unchecked the hidden box, and then we selected check visible toggle. And this is what allows us to do this right here. Now, this color right here is actually the hexadecimal code for purple. And you can see that mail is purple right now. But if I change this to something like FF8000, which is orange, if I click OK, and then when I come here and I click this home team color button, it's going to change the color to orange. We'll go ahead and we'll change this back to purple. So again, that was FFA500. We'll click OK. Now we have it back to purple. The next thing I'm going to show you is home possession. Right now it's showing the visitor has possession. So I'm going to click click home possession and you can see where it changes to home possession. Well, let's put it back to visitor. And let's go ahead and look at this button right here. Now, this button right here is we're using set color. And as we know, set color is not native to vMix UTC. We had to add that function in. Well, let me show you something with the graphic. So we're going to bring our graphic into preview. And then we are going to right click. And you can see our title editor box. Well, you know we have these three tabs now, text, images, and color. And this is what allows us to change the colors and turn the colors off and on. These of the individual components of the color tab and the way that these are numbered is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Our visiting possession color is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right here, six, and our home possession color is going to be seven. When we click on home possession, we have two things going on. For home possession, we want to set the color of the arrow, which is the home possession arrow, and that's index seven. We showed that just a moment ago, to this color right here, which is orange. And we want to set the visiting possession arrow, which is index six, we want to set that to black. So all we're doing is we're really not turning an image off and on, all we're doing is changing the color of that image. Right now, we have the visiting arrow set to orange and the home arrow set to black. Well, let's go ahead and change that. We're going to go up here under home possession. We're going to click on it and you can see where the home possession goes to the orange arrow and the visiting possession goes to black. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the visiting possession because it's just going to be the exact opposite. Let's go ahead and bring this up so you can see it. Scroll down a little bit and we're setting 
setting the color of the visiting indicator now to orange and we're setting the color of the home team indicator which is seven we're setting that to black so all we're doing is we're alternating the orange and black on those two indicators and it's giving the perception that we're turning the arrow off and on now this next uh, component here this is our home score we're going to click on that you can see where we mapped it to the same graphic and we gra and mapped it to the home score component if we click this drop down list right here you can see uh, basic basketball rugby American football and custom we're using American football so if you look over here to the right well actually brings in two for a two-point conversion as well so it brings in one two three and six and the same thing for visiting team except under this one we have it hooked to the visiting score component instead of the home score component well let's go ahead and show you a score so I'm gonna click on plus six for the home team and you can see how that fades in. I think I showed you how we did that. We were using the zoom fade command under uh, data when we're doing a data change for the home team and we're using the zoom fade. So that's how, that's why we get that little fade look there uh, when we click on it. Uh, same thing for home team. We're gonna give them, I'm, I'm sorry, the visiting team. Uh, we're gonna give them three points for a field goal and we're using that same zoom fade. We'll click it one more time and we'll give them three more points. Now, this, these next parts are the timeouts. You can see that each team currently has three timeouts, and those are designated in yellow. When the home team uses their first timeout, we'll come over here and we'll click on T01, and you can see where it takes it away. The yellow now turns to black. Timeout two, timeout three, and then we're gonna reset the timeouts right here, and we're gonna set them all back to yellow. Well, how did we do that? Well, we're gonna click on the cog for timeout one, and you can see again we're using the set color right now the color is yellow and all we're going to do is we're going to change that color to black so what we're going to do is we're going to set uh, set color is the command that we're using again we're using the same football input and then we're using index 5 and we're setting index 5 to black so that's how we turn uh, the timeout off and on i'm going to click on it so for timeout 2 a home team timeout 2 same thing this time we're turning off index four and we're actually not turning it off we're changing the color of index four to black we'll click on that and then for timeout three we're changing the color of index three to black and you can see where that goes to black for visiting this one right here again it's a button widget this is index two we'll click on it we're changing it to black this is probably index one yes it is and we're changing it to black and this one right here is index zero and we're changing that to black as well so we're going to turn those two off and just to show you one once again just to kind of reiterate the point we're going to bring this look back in and we're going to bring the graphic back in preview we're going to right click on it go to title editor we're going to come here to where it says color and you can see that zero one and two are indeed the visiting timeout indexes and three four and five are the home team designations next thing we're going to show are some more scoreboard controls we will come over here to game clock we'll click the cog and you can see where we have it again mapped to that same input and we have it mapped to the clock tech and we have it formatted into minutes and seconds second so let's go ahead and set it in motion we'll click right here and you can see it counting down we push this button here and it will pause it and then we push the stop button here and we know stop actually is going to reset it which it does uh, let's go back to the timeouts for just a second and we're going to reset them and you can see under this button right here all we are doing is we're setting the color of those indexes back to yellow so for the home team it was index five four and three we're setting those all back to yellow which is the hashtag four f's and two zeros so we're setting three back to yellow four back to yellow and five back to yellow and then if you remember for the visiting team uh, their indexes were zero one and two and on this we're setting the index zero, one, and two, we're setting those back to yellow. So let's go ahead and click on this button here to reset home timeouts. You can see all the yellow timeouts come back. Reset the visiting timeouts. You can see all the visiting timeouts come back. We need to go to down and distance. Down and distance, distance is a list widget and we have it uh, mapped to the down and distance text field that we created. 
and you can see all the more common down and distances here. It makes it very simple for us to change it. And we're gonna change it from fourth and goal to first and 10. So we click on this and you can see how it immediately changes to first and 10. The next thing we're gonna do is the quarter. The quarter again is set up as a list widget and we have first, second, half, third, fourth, final, and overtime. Uh, we're gonna change this game to final. So again, from the drop down menu, we're gonna select final and you can see how it changes to final. Now we have this button right here that will actually toggle our scoreboard off and on. And let's look at that. The command that we are using is overlay input X. And we all know by now when we use the overlay input X command, it allows us to make this button into a toggle. So we click it once, it's gonna bring it on. We click it again, it's gonna take it off. And again, we have this map to our football input and we we're bringing it in on overlay channel three. So we will click it and it will go off and we click it again and it will come back on. Now we have a special text button right here. I will have to bring my graphic up just a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna bring that special text field in and you can see where it comes in right there. So what I'm gonna do is let's look behind the special text field button and you can see that it's a text field widget and I have it mapped to the special text field of the graphic. So anytime I change this, let's say, uh, so we have some severe weather, start of the game, be delayed a little bit. We can type that in there and then click on show special text and it'll bring that in. Uh, we can also click hide special text and it will get rid of it. If, say we wanted to bring in uh, someone's stats, running back Tom Thomas, he's had uh, 10 carries for 200 yards, uh, we can bring that up and then we can get rid of it. And that covers all the functionality of all of the buttons in this vMix UTC controller. That will conclude our tutorial for today. This was our Football Graphic 2024 Part 3, and I hope you found this series interesting. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And if you have just a moment, if you can stop by our online store, that's at uh, onemanstream.com. That's where we have our graphics and more. We have most all the graphics we've created during, the, during this tutorial series, along with most of the vMix UTC controllers. As always, thank you so much.